Hello, and welcome back to my video series showing you how to find the secret pathways in New Super Mario Bros. U. So for this episode, I'm going to be showing how to find the secret exit in Rock Candy Mines 5's Walking Piranha Plants. Now this secret exit will open up a path that will allow you to access the rear exit to the Rock Candy Mines castle. In the previous episode, I showed you how to go through the Spine Coaster level, which also gives you access to that route, but if you're finding that level a bit too much of a challenge, then this provides an easier alternative. So let's go on in. Okay, watch out for these chains. You jump on them, then you swing by going right and left on your control stick or control pad, and then jump. And watch out for these platforms, because if you step on them, they will eventually fall over. So we're going to get a acorn from this item block. Wait for it to roll. And grab it! Okay, and so here's how the level gets its name. You see these piranha plants? They'll walk around, but every so often they will stand still and elongate. So want to try to get over them while they're walking around, which a lot of times is easier said than done. It's a challenge either way, I've found. So you swing on these chains to get over them, and use your girl suit's glide function so that you don't have to jump onto those platforms at all. I'll remind you that glide is holding down B on the Wii U gamepad and holding down 2 on the Wii Remote. And so now we've reached the halfway point. I'll show you real quick how to get this star coin. So standing on this ledge, you get a running start, you jump, glide, and swoop up by pressing the ZR button on the gamepad or shaking your Wii Remote. Oh, watch out for these piranha plants. They're pretty treacherous. Here it's tricky. Grab the uh, point from the red ring here. We got it! Come down here. Here's where you find the secret exit. Come into this alcove. Go down the pipe. Into this area. Fly. And hit the red goal flag. And again, I landed on a 55 this time, so I think that's a nice flower. Yep, that's a nice flower. So as you've no doubt seen in Rock Candy Mines, there are these different uh, red and blue groups of blocks. So you can see that if their color switch is engaged, then they extend. If it the other is engaged, then they retract. So now normally, if we would go through the tower, we'd have to go through this level here, and then go through the castle normally. But with the secret exit we've discovered, we can go over to the switch, and you see, now that these red blocks have extended, they form a path that will lead to this back door of the castle. But first, we've got to go through the second tower. So let's go on over to the second tower, Screw Top Tower. So jump on these pads, and you use the ZR trigger function or shake the Wii Remote to move the platforms. Grab an ice flower, go through this pipe here. We jump up onto this power block, and the first star coin falls down. 
Okay, now watch these fire bars. You gotta time it right so that you go past when they're not in your way. Ah, there are these guys. Now, as you can see, they'll send down electric sparks. The thing is, they can't be attacked from above. They have to be attacked from below. Unless you've got an ice flower or fire flower. Which I just lost mine. Unfortunately, I died on the last attempt, but I at least passed the halfway point. So, we'll start from there. And that's how you defeat one of those enemies. You have to attack them from below. I'll get a one ring, a red ring from here. I want to watch out for this part here. Go quickly up. Knock him out. Get a fire flower from here. And we won't bother about that star coin. Now we face a bigger version of one of those other guys that we saw earlier in the level. And... get him! So the goal is to knock him onto his back and get him while he's floundering around. That's two hits. And three hits. All right, so that's how you beat the second tower in Rock Candy Mines. And look on the map. As you can see, it now leads us the back entrance of Roy's Conveyor Castle. Let's go in. Grab an ice flower from here. And then to this section. And quickly dash. Grab the third star coin. Jump on these crates. Which takes us right to the battle room doors. Now we go up and fight Roy Koopa. Okay, so he fires bullet pills at us. Wanna watch out for that. Watch out. That's two. And jump him for the third and final hit. And we watch as Roy's ship spirals out of control. So that's how you find the secret exit to Rock Candy Mines 5, which in turn leads you to the secret entrance in Rock Candy Mines Castle. For the next episode, I'll be showing you how to find the secret exit in Meringue Cloud's Ghost House.